Nexus. Uh, and on there is a Nexus, they're making Nexus 300s, uh, 320s, so that, this is the biggest tool that we put on this machine. Uh -huh. uh, and if you watch it for a while, you'll see, um, this is why no one can copy the Nexus, because uh, that machine is over a million pounds. Wow. But why are they tilting like this? Pardon? Why are they tilting? Right. You, I'll show you from the very beginning, but uh, basically, you put powder inside the mold. When the mold shuts, and then that starts to move round and heat up. As it heats up, the uh, the temperature inside the mold gets past the melting point of the plastic, and that that then allows the, the molten plastic then, as it moves around, it, it swirls around and gets to every part of the mold. Okay. And then once it's reached re a certain temperature and time, then we know that the, 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 the plastic is covering all the surfaces. Then it starts to cool down. As it cools down, so we pump water, cold water through, the, through that. When it starts to, um, to, to cool down, the plastic solidifies again. Once it's got to a certain temperature, we know the plastic is solid. Okay. In, the in the the mold, and then the, the unit stops, comes apart, and the product comes out. And then we start the whole process again. I and, see. And the process takes, um, depending on what it is, this this will be this is an excess, it'll be 40 minutes, but that's just enough time to do all the additions that the guy's doing down there, um, and cutting bits out and putting all sorts of things. But the machine, when it when the when the actual unit comes off, it's warm. One and it's just like that. That's yeah. That's a dam That's a damaged one. So that's just there. For... When you say damage, is during the uh, slicing. Yeah. So there's something wrong with that. I don't know what, why that's there. But this one here is now being produced. So we can put all the component parts in it. Patrick.